Good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. The plan for today is uh, in about 15 minutes, we are driving back towards Arba Minch, which is where we came from yesterday. And by the way, this is a two part video series. So if you haven't seen the first part, go back and watch the first part. Uh, but we're driving to Arpa Minch, which is a two hour drive. And from there, we're gonna explore the Dorze tribe and we're gonna go to a village. And that happens to be where Desi from Go Ades is from. Uh, so it's gonna be an honor to visit his village, to learn about their culture, uh, the tribe and the food. Um, one of the things that they're known for is false banana, which we're both gonna learn about and explore. So right after we finish breakfast, we're heading out. Look at how yellow it is, though. I think there are onions in there. You can always count on the coffee to be great in Ethiopia. Ah, this is what they were blending back in the kitchen, mango juice. Mm. Oh yeah, that's just straight up mango blended. Oh, it's thick and rich and Delicious, that's really good. We're jumping out of the truck real fast because on the side of the road we saw some of the, the unique gravestone uh, markers. That is him, who was oh, the hero. Okay. And then the, the one from the left, uh, left side, uh -huh. the second wave, the one from the right side. Oh, is so the, this is like a whole family. Whole family. They're called Waka? Waka. Waka is the name of the statue. Uh, okay. Mainly around, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just driving past the side of the road. Oh, look at the, look at the truck now. It's full of people. People saying hi to Micah. Hi guys. Uh... Micah. Bye bye. 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 drove all the way through the banana fields again and then through Arba Minch uh, and now we're on the other side of the city and we're going up high into the mountains. We're really getting high here, gaining elevation, getting into the misty peaks of the mountains, the pine trees. Oh man, the views, it's really wet too and starting to just mist. <laughs> Both of you guys are from this area? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. We have reached Dorze. Wow, that is some cold, fresh air. We picked up one of their friends who's hanging on the back. Salam, salam. <laughs> Welcome to Welcome to Dorze. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Salam. I think we're stopping here. Oh man, this is this is beautiful. Wow, that's an amazing hut. We're gonna step into the main hut and it's it's spectacular. The construction, they're known to look like an elephant with the front section, uh, like the giant nose and then there's eyes that look, look like um, chimneys. We're gonna step inside. Uh, we might need the light. Yeah, I think we need the light. Yeah. Um, Why do you say that? Oh, is there a lamb back there? That's a, a, goat. a goat. It's really big in here. You can see the, the ceiling at the top there, the arched ceiling, uh, but it's really nice and warm in here compared to outside. Um, and then the seats, if you can see, if you can see are made from cowhide and eucalyptus. And eucalyptus. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna take a, take a seat. Oh, oh yeah, they kind of like revolve. They kind of recline like, like hammock cow skin this is your home yeah this is your yeah i've been uh, i was born and raised in a house like this so you're on dorze which is uh, the elevation of 2500 meters above sea level and those are mainly known for weaving ah uh, okay they weave their clothes their fences if you saw the fences uh -huh, uh -huh. even the house is made by uh, weaving process and is it mostly out bamboo? of bamboo mostly everything bamboo. out of bamboo hello 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 so there is a when the milk is boiling they will be putting the the bulla which is the squeezed fermented kind of 
False uh, banana? False banana. Ah, okay. That they will be making us a it uh, is pancake. Here, so. I'll go to the back. So this is the false banana? Yeah, yeah, from the false banana we call it bula. Yeah, they just brought in the plate of bula, which is the false banana. It has this sour aroma to it because it's been fermented. Um, and then it's kind of powdery right now. Now she's just whisking that in. She has this kind of fork made from bamboo uh, that she's stirring as she adds the, the false banana and then just whipping that up into, uh, into the porridge. And you can hear that just start to bubble away and steam. Oh, hi, Micah. Awesome. Very spicy. Okay. Very funny. That sounds good. Okay, stepping out of the hut right now as she's making that, but I wanted to see her pounding. The coffee, very fresh coffee leaf. Coffee leaves. So they, they're making a coffee leaf drink. A tea. And again, oh, it's very, very cold for good for cold. Wow. And we drink That's something I've never There will be garlic, there will be chili, before. there will be onion. Inside of the. the she put us a spice after she makes the tea. Coffee leaves. Yeah. yeah. And you can see the smoke coming from the top of the, the elephant hut there. That's coming from the, the fire that we're cooking on. Okay, I'm going back into the hut to, to keep cooking. Okay, this is butter. Ah. And the, this is the garlic? Yes, so this is going to mix. Okay. Okay. Sometimes they put lemon grass in it. Wow. That is uh, powdered fenugreek? Yes. She added in some powdered fenugreek. Uh, and then that's going in the porridge and she's still kind of whipping it up. Wow. Another dish that she's gonna make is false banana also, but it's a stir-fried or fried version. Uh, so she had this she has this metal pan, a uh, rounded pan which she stuck over the fire and then she put the rest of that false banana and then she's just kinda mixing it on that hot plate. Yeah. Made out of chili powder. Chili powder. That's into the garlic. Oh, it's a Oh, she, so she takes some of this, but that's butter also and garlic and, garlic and lots and of a very spice one and then turmeric. In it. Oh. Now she's mixing. Sayo, She's now, oh, she's gonna make that that coffee uh, leaf tea, which is going on the fire right now, but I think we're gonna go get started eating. Huh? And then she will put some uh, garlic into uh, the tea? Into the tea. Oh, wow. Garlic, that uh, chili sauce, very spicy one. Oh, wow. The cooking and the whole process and this hut and the culture is just fascinating me. Walk into the back of the hut. Here's the side of the elephant hut. These are the false banana trees. And yeah, bamboo, as you can see, is it's a lifeline uh, in the Dorze. Bamboo and false bananas are two of the most important uh, substances, materials, both for construction, for, for livelihood, and for food. So they cover it like this, uh -huh. not to make it cold. That is the porridge that she was throwing. This is the, the fry. The fry. Okay, we are sitting down to eat. Uh, this is a, a beautiful table full of natural herbs and flowers. Uh, putting like the grass like this uh, when um, a guest come. Ah. It's like welcoming into the fertile land. Wow. So green is fertile. Mm. Green. All right. <laughs> It's really good. I'm gonna dig into the porridge first and well it has a very like 
very sticky, gummy kind of texture to it. And all of that, it almost looks like cinnamon on top sprinkled, but that's all the fenugreek. Mm. Oh, wow. The first thing I got because of that fenugreek on the top is a little bit of bitterness. Then you taste that undertone of the butter, which is, yeah, it's like infused with that kind of spicious aroma to it and almost like browned so it has that that kind of roasted butter flavor to it and then that's all wrapped up within the false banana porridge which is it has a sticky texture but at the same time it's soft it's like gummy but also falls apart you can tell how that would just warm you all the way to your core when it's really cold outside <gasps> The garlic is there as well. Oh yeah, the garlic. Mm. And yeah, the, the thing I forgot to share with you with the description on that first bite is that it's quite sour because the false banana is, it's fermented for underground for three to seven months. And you kind of just skim off the top to make sure you get some fenugreek in every bite, right? And you can see the way that just kind of jiggles in your spoon, that texture. And the texture and the flavor is really like unlike anything I've ever had before. There is garlic, there is the spiced butter, and the false banana product is also the same. Mm, but okay. she, instead of making a porridge, she scrambled it. Mm -hmm. it's, there is a uh, still gummy or chewy, uh -huh. but this is way softer. And you can see it's more like grainy, it's like in the little, little pellets almost. Oh yeah, wow, that's a like completely different texture. Each little grain is like its own stickiness, like little little gummy balls. But then you do taste the chili in there. The butter also makes it moist, little gummy pellets. Mm. Yeah, you kind of gotta, kind of gummy, you gotta kind of work at it and chew it. But then as you chew it, you get that flavor and the garlic. You will have um, the holy water. Mm. which is very oh good God, for oh digestion. We use the roux, which you drank mainly. Oh, they, so they put roux, like, which is mainly for coffee often. For coffee? Yes, can you see? Maybe it will be Yo, 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 yo! Yo! You know what? It starts to sort of have the the tapioca pearl texture and those little little balls to them. Just like a whole mouthful of them though. Okay, yeah, we can continue. Okay, we're gonna go see the false banana and, and also go around the the compound a little bit, the village. But man, you can just tell how that porridge, it would just, it, it's so filling. Um, and it would just, it, it would just sit in your stomach. But oh, it, it is good. It's, it's, it really is a flavor combination I've never had before. Yeah. She's gonna show us the entire process of the false banana now. And false banana is one of the most important foods for the doze. Uh, behind me, these are all false bananas, and you can see they're giant, huge trunks, um, and then the, the leaves just kind of sprout upwards. Uh, but the reason that they're called false bananas is because they don't produce fruit, they don't produce bananas that you can eat, uh, but the what's harvested is the, the stumps, um, and that's what's used for food. Ethiopia is one of the one of the, the main places where you can eat false banana in this region, uh, it's the staple. Uh, Wait, so this is the stump part? This is the stump part. So this is the stump part, which will be fermented for three months. Oh yeah, it smells it's like very, green very banana. It smells like green banana. After she squash it, it becomes very, very tough fiber. It's really, really juicy as well. You can see the juice coming out of it. So the color there was very green. After three months of the fermentation, the smell already changed into cheesy. Mm, yeah, it does kind of smell cheesy, like a mild cheese. My God, how's that aroma? Chopping table or chopping pan. Small and pancake. 
it's almost like a dough uh, that is the result of the fermentation and now the the process before you eat it though or before you cook it she still has to chop it with a knife uh, because there's so many fibers within it so that you break those fibers and now she's she chopped it up and is mixing it with some water Aww. so here you're gonna eat pulpit. okay this is definitely a staple food and a process and even an ingredient I've never seen anywhere else in the world. <laughs> the pancake made from the false banana that she just prepared, which it's called cocho. Um, and now they are, they're building a fire with leaves especially so they get the flame. Uh, and then they put the, the false banana, it's wrapped in banana, the false banana leaves, which come from right here. Um, and then it's gonna cook over the fire, over that hot griddle. As she kept on flipping, she eventually t took off the banana leaves and that provides a little bit of oil for the, the pancake. Uh, but we're gonna head back to that hut where we ate before and we're gonna drink some of the coffee leaf tea and then she's gonna bring that there as we're gonna, we're gonna sample it. This is coffee tea. Coffee leaf tea. Coffee leaf tea. But is there a real coffee in it too? No. But you could just put it in the same. Thank you. Alright, cool. This is again something I've never tried and something I never I've never even thought of. Oh, oh wow, that's almost like a like a soup. You taste, you taste the saltiness of it, and you taste that garlic, and then it has like almost like a tea undertone. Wow, that's that's something I, I, I that's totally new. Wow, you can really taste the garlic. Thanks. This is the. We call it tomato sauce, but it's very, very spicy. It's chili? Chili. Okay. Take a piece like this. It's very spicy. Okay, so the cocho is served, and there's a little uh, baby, dish in the middle. Honey. Part of it is honey, <laughs> and then part of it is a chili sauce. So you can eat them together, kind of sweet and savory at the same time, uh, or you can just try one of the, one of the dips. Mmm, oh the sauce. You can taste those spices. Okay, now a piece dunk, dunked in that honey and that's just natural honey. Ethiopia is known for honey. Oh wow. Oh that honey is awesome. Yeah. Ning is loving the honey. Honey is very good. Yeah, that honey is extremely good. It is slightly sour. So thick and so sweet. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna try a mix of both the chili and the honey. That's just a beautiful combination of spicy and sweet and crunchy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. We had to race down the mountain back to Arba Minch because we have to catch our flight. Uh, but so I didn't really even get to do an ending video uh, at the village. But learning about the Dorze culture, that was fascinating. It was another learning experience. The huts, the culture, the food. Totally new food that I've never seen before. Uh, and we were almost at the airport, but we're just gonna quickly stop for a very cu quick cup of coffee before we catch our flight. You remember this, yeah? Yeah, the roof. Yeah. The frankincense is burning. Dip in that roux. Cheers. Cheers. Actually, this is better, yeah. That's mom with a bit of tea. Oh, okay. We call it spritz. Wow. An amazing cup of coffee, and we gotta get to the airport now. Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Okay, you are. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yes. Thank you. One, two, three. <laughs> cool. Okay, we made it to the airport. Just go to the other side. It's only been, it's, this has been a two part day series. Two days that went by really fast. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll have it linked below. Be sure to check that out now. It was an amazing day yesterday. Uh, first, I wanna say a huge thank you to Desi from Go Addis. Uh, he's been with us this trip and he's he's such a helpful guy. He's such he's so friendly, he's so nice. Uh, it's been great to hang out with him. And also thank you to Go Addis and Javi for arranging everything. I'll leave their link in the description box below. I paid for this tour, but they've done an incredible job and they just do great things. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon. That way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. I'm just filled with energy after these two days. Uh, that was great. Ethiopia is one of my favorite countries in the world. The mix of culture and food and coffee. Okay, I'm gonna end right now. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Nice shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We travel for food. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Desi.